In this video, we're going to go from this to this using this. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory on a Toshiba satellite computer. Now, keep in mind there are even different models of, of Toshiba satellite. So to find out which model you actually have, it's usually on the bottom down here. And in this case, mine is a S55D A5383. So to get to this screen right here, go into your Windows Explorer and then click on this PC. Then click on Properties and this will bring up this screen right here so you'll know exactly how much RAM that you currently have. Now before purchasing any RAM, make sure that you check with the manufacturer and the owner's manual, op guide, to see what type that it takes. And in this case, mine is DDR3-1600. So to actually install the memory, first thing you do, of course, is power down your laptop. There we go. Okay, so now it's powered down. Then on the back, there'll be a cover like this. Now some laptops, you can't change the memory on at all. And then some like this one you can. And there'll be some that you can actually change it, but you'll still have to take off the entire cover. Fortunately, this one has a little access cover for the memory. So this just has the one screw. Take it up. Then remove the chips that are in there. Mine currently has eight, so there's two four gigabit memories. The, uh, the new one is 2 8 gig for a total of 16, which is the max that this computer can take. So I'll go ahead and open that memory up. By the way, it is best to use a static wrist strap, which I am not, but it is a good idea to. At a bare minimum, before you touch the memory, um, touch metal, ground yourself. And then simply insert the new memory in. And I always save my old memory just in case something goes wrong with the new memory. So I'll at least have something to fall back on. So I'll go ahead and put that back in. Set that aside. And of course put the little door back on. Don't tighten this down too tight because you will crack it. And, and possibly break that little holder, which mine is. So now we'll flip it back over. Plug it back in. Now let's check it and see if it has seen the new new memory yet or not. It's functioning, so that's always a good sign. Okay, now again go to this PC so we can verify that it has seen the memory. Scroll down, hit this PC, then properties. And there we go, we now have 16 gigabits of memory. So hopefully now my laptop will perform even better. One quick note, one of the biggest bang for the buck changes you can do on an older laptop to make it perform better is using a solid state drive. And I do have a video on updating the drive to a solid state drive. So 
but be sure to watch that if you're not if you do not have a solid state drive in your laptop it speeds the system up tremendously I think in my opinion it's a bigger bang for buck than just memory but uh, they're both good upgrades so there you go thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please select like down there and subscribe to my channel if you didn't like it well subscribe to the channel maybe you like the next one thank you for watching I still see lights on.